Okay, now we can start. Đợi chút, chưa chưa hai giờ nãy. Chưa 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 mà nói. Xin xác hai giờ nha. Chuyện nào em yeah. nói em nói bắt đầu anh hả bắt đầu nghe anh. Ok, ok. Các bạn là có xem là câu hỏi và trả lời đề nghị của bên nào không? Dạ, có bên này. Có sửa gì không? Ừ, thấy, nhóm thấy đầy đủ rồi. Dạ, có một cái là phải xem lại là về chi phí cao đường á. Thì là mình dạ. chia là như thế nào? Một phần ba hay một phần tư? Vì là trong số liệu mà ngoài gửi cho bên nào là thấy là một phần tư. Mà thường thường là mình nói là cộng đồng là trả hay phần ba là không phải ba phần tư là yeah. cái này là phải các anh là phải làm rõ nhé. Dạ. Yeah. Nhưng mà cái mình nhớ là trong cộng đồng mình làm cái cầu là sẽ dưới 20 m chứ không phải là dưới 16, không biết là mình nhớ sai không mà. Những cái cầu mình hỗ trợ trong cộng đồng á là dưới 20 m là mình sẽ hỗ trợ. Còn trên 20 m. Dạ. Ok ok. À, có ba rồi. Hello. À, bonjour mes amis. Bonjour Bernard, ça va? Oui. Các bạn là có biết Benjamin không? Mình không biết. Không, mẹ. Không, mẹ. Trời ơi, Benjamin là cũng có đi tham quan lòng Mỹ và có đi xe đạp mà. À, I remember her. I remember him. Uh, he uh, uh, left the project soon because of something uh, problem. He needs to leave the tour, right? À, đúng rồi, đúng rồi. Yes, okay. Bây giờ là Benjamin, Benjamin là giúp công ty mà con quyết mình á, về tiếp thị và marketing á. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Benjamin mà khi qua bên tới dòng riêng đó, ông phải rời khỏi, rời khỏi nhóm chút. Khi mà chạy tới dòng riêng đó, ông có việc, ông phải việc chi gấp thì còn á. Rồi, hai giờ, hai giờ rồi. Mến rồi, hai giờ rồi. Okay. Con nghe tiếng của mình á, thì là mình, mình là phải nói to hơn á. Alo, alo mình ơi. Bắt đầu, bắt đầu nghe mình. Bắt đầu, bắt đầu. Nói lớn okay. tí, tí em nghe hơi nhỏ. Uh, can you hear me clear? Yeah, ok. Ok, can we start now? Yeah. Ok, hello everybody. Uh, I will introduce something about myself first. Uh, I'm Minh, a fundraiser of An Dương. I work here for almost six years. Uh, today, I will take you visit the protest in uh, Mekong Delta, Vietnam. Uh, I am signed up before of the An Dương office. So I would like to introduce something about An Dương office. Uh, An Dương office is a local NGO. We work here uh, from 2008 until now. Uh, But in fact, uh, before 2008, we start with name uh, Vietnam Lust in 2004, and uh, to 2008, we changed to Anjung. So Anjung, uh, we, Anjung, we have the mission that is to help the poor people to improve the capacity and to help them to improve the economic. And and uh, second mission is to help the children keep going to school to get a better life. At An Dương, uh, we work as the teacher of Lao Tử, the philological of uh, China. Uh, that is when we come to the community, we learn from them, we love them, we start from what they know, and we build from what they have. And then when they come to something, they will say, we did it. So that's time. They have enough experience, enough skill, so they can do themselves to earn more income and get more, get better life. 
at NU, we have 21 staff on NU staff uh, Vietnamese, and they were born from Vietnam and grow up in Vietnam. So they have the good background about Vietnamese and as well as the culture, the, the needs and the difficulties of local people. They also, they, uh, they have the love of local people and they spend much time, about 80% of time to community to survey and to learn from them to understand what the community needs and they survey and suggest some model to help the people. <clears throat> Uh, today, I will introduce to you about the project that Anjung will that Anjung support the community, uh, and we also will visit today. The first is the job creation program. That's a program to help the woman uh, have the job to earn income at home, close their children to take care of their family. And the second is to the micro related program. This means the poverty reduction program. That's a realm to help the people improve the capacity and improve the income. And the next program we will see is scholarship program. This realm to keep the children studying at school. And the last one is hygiene and environment. This realm to help the people have the better life, better situation in life in the community, in the rural areas, in anywhere, uh, with the breath air and the clean environment. And uh, uh, because today uh, many place in uh, Long Bay, in, in Vietnam and Mekong Delta, in my place were locked down, so uh, we cannot uh, see on top today. I would like to introduce to you our um, vice director, Mr. Wai. Uh, he also worked here work for Anh uh, for more than 10 years, and he also Vietnamese, of course. And now, uh, before uh, uh, before we go into the job creation program with Sang, I would like to uh, you to watch your screen. Uh, so Ms. Suk will show the video clip about Mekong Pew and uh, Mekong Delta. Uh, I, I want to talk something about Mekong Plus and uh, Anjung. We are a partner. Mekong Plus is support for Anjung and Anjung also partner with uh, make them last and also twin tea as well. Okay, look at the rain for the video clip. Thank you very much. The vast majority of the poor Vietnamese lives in the rural areas. For many, agriculture is no longer enough to survive. About 10% of the population survive with less than half a dollar per day. Mekong Plus helps thousands of very poor households, advice for health and hygiene, scholarship for the children, training and microcredit to increase their income, like growing vegetables, raising eels, chicken, all this requires little capital. Oh. Mekong Plus has also started several handicraft programs. For example, Mekong Quilts. Over 300 women have been trained for quilting. To become a good quilter takes several years. It is very technical and Mekong Quilts has achieved the highest quality standards. The quilters work in a happy atmosphere and they can share their worries and ideas. Completing one quilt takes from one to four weeks. They have generally doubled their income and work near their home close to the children. Every week over a hundred quilts are delivered to Ho Chi Minh City. very strict quality check is done at once. Only perfect products are accepted. The others are not paid and sent back. No time can be wasted as more and more quilts arrive every day. It takes a lot of time and space.
Once the quality check is passed, the quills are shipped to the aid shops in Vietnam and Cambodia. This order is for Simri. The quilters receive new orders and new designs to make for the next month. All fabrics are prepared for them. The shops in Saigon, Hanoi, Phnom Penh, and Simrip generate profits. All profits are sent back to the villages. The development programs are so more sustainable and they do not depend entirely on foreign donations. The health program in schools covers 64,000 children. Mekong Plus supports health, education, agriculture, employment programs, all low cost and with high community participation. Hello, everybody. I am Sang, a fundraiser of Anjun Center. Today, I will take you to visit. Mrs. Nga Creating Group. This is Ms. Nga, the leader of Creating Group. This group has uh, nine members. And uh, in Mekong Delta, we have uh, three Creating Groups with total 33 members in the total 33 members. And they make the products based on the order custom and the design from the Mekong Field Company. And uh, Every income of each member before the payment limit is uh, about uh, 100 euro per person per month. At the present, due to the pandemic, they do they don't don't have uh, enough work to do, so their income decrease a lot. Their income is about uh, 50 uh, euro per person per month. Yeah. Mrs. Nga, uh, in the pandemic, they, uh, they only work, uh, they only make two types of products. This is blankets and uh, masks. This one, they uh, make, uh, they will make 20 blankets. Mrs. Nga, the leader, uh, she must take the responsibility uh, on receiving the material uh, and transfer the products to the medical field company once a month. Ms. Nga will divide the material to the group members. Then she uh, make the quality check after the product complete. The group leader will stay here for wo uh, work about 30% and uh, the other time they, they take the material to their home to work and look after their children at the same time. Yeah, and the uh, group members, they live around here. The forest member is about 7 kilometers from here. Be before the pandemic, the, we have some stuff to sell the products in uh, Hanoi, Đà Nẵng, Hồ Chí Minh City, some, et cetera. But now we grow on. We, now we sell uh, on the products online on Facebook and website. And uh, why we implement this program here, which uh, we, we implement this program with two main reasons. Firstly, this program is to help the disadvantaged women who have time, have still but traffic in the area. They can work and earn more income to support the family while they taking care of the children. Secondly, this program is to raise the voice of the woman in the family because most of the income in the family before depend on the husband. Women just stay at home doing the hard work and taking care of the children. They do not, they cannot earn the income. So the husband later on to decide on the activity and the expenses of the family. So when the woman, they have uh, income, they can support their family they can decide uh, how many we we'll spend. And we hope the pandemic will uh, over soon so Mekong Quill can sell the product, the woman can have more work and more income. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have any questions? 
thank you, Shang. Um, I'm uh, now during the pandemic. Uh, how do you sell the products? What did you say? We uh, we sell the products online um, via Facebook and website. Okay, and uh, the the quilters they have enough work now. No, they don't have uh, enough work. Just uh, uh, they uh, about more than half uh, people they uh, remember they don't have work. If uh, if they don't have work for Mekong quilt, what do they do? Yeah. They uh, they don't have many options. Yeah, they uh, don't have many options. Some women they uh, they do uh, some uh, sewing in the village, but work is fair and uh, the pay very little. And also they can be the daily laborer in the field, but uh, to find the uh, work more than ten days a month is impossible. So their income. Uh, very low, you know. They then they are pay about six to seven euro per day. Yeah. Other question? How much did you say they earn uh, if they work for Mekong Quilt? Yeah, they uh, if they work for Mekong Quilt before the pandemic, it's uh, about one hundred euro. Per, per month, per person per month. Okay. And now uh, because uh, we don't have uh, enough work, so they, they income uh, decree. So uh, they, they can uh, earn about 50 euro per person per month. Okay. Yeah, thank you. How, oh, how, how did you train the, the woman? Yeah. Yeah, the the Mekong Quilt provide the training regularly. The group leader visits uh, the office in her Simon City every month. So uh, and get uh, the train for there, and then she when she come back, she she will train for the woman in the group. And other questions. How long does it take for uh, the quilters to to become very good to uh, you know to know their job well? How long does it take? Yeah, when the uh, uh, woman they want to join uh, the this group, they uh, they uh, they already have skill, good skill on sewing, uh, and uh, to become the good uh, the, the good quilter here. They, uh, they just need about one week to learn about uh, the technique and uh, to make the from the by the design from the making quilt company. So the the quilters in this group, how for they have been there for how many years already? Yeah, the leader they are more than uh, twelve years or twelve years. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And the quilters, and on average, how long do they stay? Yeah, some they are about 10 years, some they, they have some new about two or three years. Okay. They, so they don't have a new, new, yeah, they don't have new, uh, new person because we don't have enough work for the, for the, for the, for the members. Yeah. Okay. And if they don't work at the uh, Family Conquils, uh, what kind of job do they get? Can they get in? They, in, uh... they can. Uh, yeah. Thank, thank you for your questions. Some they, uh, they uh, do the, some sewing in the village. Some some they uh, they can uh, be the daily lover in the area. You know daily laborer. Yeah, labor. But if for for come for um, uh, factories and for what? Or for uh, maybe oh, they, they, they yeah they can um. They can work in the farm to harvest some uh, what pet they have with some mushroom or uh, uh, clean the, the grass or something like this. And is it is it if they do um, laborer and they work for farm for farms, 
do harvesting mushroom etc do is there any risk for them how much they do they earn right no, no, no. Um, i'm i'm asking if it's a, not a dangerous but is it a healthy job for them to be a farmers or is it better to, to be a quilters Yeah. I I think uh, if they work in the field, it must be very uh, hard uh, work, um, hard physical work. They work. Uh, Besides, they also have paper mache. Besides, they also have paper mache group. The group they make the product from paper mache and uh, water hygiene products. Total about 100 women in the area. Okay. Okay. You mean so 100 you. women are working now? No, just a quilt, just quilting group. They have jobs. The other group, they don't have uh, the other, you know. Mm. So, so what would be the difference between when Mekong Quilts was working at full capacity in terms of people who were working and now, today? I understand your question. Sorry, can you ask me again? Yeah. Uh, uh, how, many, how many women are working today? versus before the pandemic when you were at full capacity yeah before the pandemic we have about 100 uh, women but now we have about 12 to uh 12 to 15 women okay yeah for everything for quilting papier mache and other techniques right uh because uh just for quilt uh, they have uh, they have have work and uh, paper might say what the hell is they, they have no other, you know. Mm. So they stop, yeah. Until okay. they have the, the other. Yeah. So they have, a, the quilters, they have a fixed salary? Or is a it risk? a fixed, a fixed salary or is it depending on the, on the, on the, on the quilts that they do? Yeah, some uh, just some. Uh, yeah, I don't understand. <clears throat> Can you ask me again? Are they paid uh, with are a fixed paid? salary per month, or are they paid uh, by the unit that they provide? That yeah. Um, so uh, they, they also have the husband, the husband also work a laborer or something like that. Just a leader, they, yeah. uh, they, uh, the income. They, yeah. No, <clears throat> the leader, they, they don't have husband, yeah? No, Shang, the, the, they don't have a salary. They are paid by peace, peace rate basis. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The peace rate, okay. I, I, under, I must understand, no? They they um they pay by uh, stitches, not uh not by they they don't have the salary. Okay, so it means that uh, beginners they can earn less than uh, experienced uh, quilters, right? Because experienced quilters they do more, they can do more, they can produce more, right? So earn more. Yeah, they do the, they do more. They can earn more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Other questions so far? No, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you a lot for your visiting.
chưa nghe âm thanh chút ơi chút làm lại làm lại không có âm thanh này Ừ. 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 anh muốn tắt camera tắt cam thanh cái đêm mình Chị chú không có âm thanh nữa Không nghe âm thanh hả sao Mượn nhán gì đổ luôn mấy cái cột rồi nó cái không đổ nhán tiền không đổ. Thì bán đi anh kiếm nóng gom kìa. Không thấy em bịt mặt mà tại vì anh chắc là giật đóng có mấy cậu ba tiếng luôn. Cái nguyên đó anh giật mấy cái là hút cái trứng nó lên. Hút cái trứng nó lên xong rồi xì. Rồi phải hút cái trứng bể non đồ ra. Trời ơi khổ đúng không nội ơi. Mà đốt sấy nhà luôn hả? Hả? Anh chắc là giật đóng có mấy cậu ba tiếng luôn. Cái nguyên đó anh giật mấy cái là cỡ giờ dịch nè nấm nè cá đó hết rồi đó hello minh ơi hello hello again uh, now uh, I'm standing before the model mushroom model and now we will start to visit the family with the mushroom model And um, this is Miss. Uh, please turn back the camera here. Uh, this is uh, Miss Lee family. Um, the, fam the family that annual support for my graduate and uh, scholarship as well. So um, I will use some information about the family. Uh, the family has five members, include the couple and three daughters. And the youngest daughter is just five years old, and the oldest daughter is uh, 18. Oh, no, sorry, 17 years old. She just uh, graduated, has just passed the um, the graduate last month. So now she uh, waiting for the result. So she also has the dream uh, when we survive the family, and I we contact with her, and she said that. Um, She is very happy when received scholarship from Anjung. Uh, Anjung support scholarship for her from 2017 until now. And now uh, many times we, we visit the family and we know her dream that she wants to become a teacher. So that's why she studied very hard and she tried to get the good research and uh, she would, uh, she wish she can uh, study at the university and uh, to get a better job in the future to help the family. <clears throat> and she also uh, worry about the future very much because uh, when if she study at university, so the family will pay a lot of money for her school fee, for her daily, uh, daily food and, some, and many things. So she's care about that. So besides, uh, so 
we know that so besides uh, support scholarship for her and you also support migrated for the family uh, currently the family receive migrated that circle too with um, 180 uh, euros for uh, growing mushroom and uh, vegetable so uh, look at the house like this uh, many house this is typical house in the rural area in the cold Delta. this is the full family uh, she has she has no land for uh, growing rope but fortunately uh, her aunt support her because her aunt so old cannot to work her on the field so she gives the land for miss lee to uh, grow in drop the husband also uh, work in the field and um, sometimes if the neighbor need some labor so he also go to work as laborer to find more income and uh, look at the field again um, about the mushroom model here. Mm, uh, this is a mushroom model. Uh, this is the main uh, model. He can earn more income for uh, the family. With this model, the farmer can reduce the chore to reduce mushroom and earn income from the weight of the bad bedding field. You know, after the farmer harvest the rice on the field, so on the chore, in the past, on the chore will be use the grow mushroom, so he applied to grow mushroom like this. Uh, for timber with uh, 300 uh, prawn of char, he must invest about um, 1,000 uh, 1, euros to form on investment. So after two months, he will harvest and he will harvest in one month. During the month, he can earn about 1,200 uh, euros for total profit so that means he get benefit about 200 euros for benefit after three months with this program after they harvest on mushroom the char will also will be used again to reduce uh, fertilizer this will become organic fertilizer for feeding for the tree for growing vegetable and so on so do you have any question for the family? Um, thank Hello. You. Thank you, man. Um, if yes. uh, if they fail uh, their mushroom harvest, how will they refund the loan? So uh, we understand the this depend on the fund of uh, and you. If we have more fund. So more people will receive scholarship, uh, receive my credit. And how do you select the farmers that uh, you will uh, help with the microcredit? Yes, this is uh, many steps to uh, select the family. Uh, the first, uh, we we have the network with the local people. Uh, for example, and your staff also have some uh, local worker. The local worker and local authority will give us the list of the poor. Then under the staff, uh, whole responsibility in that commune will come to survey. And uh, if the under the staff uh, consider that, oh, this family need to help. So she will suggest to the director how to help. And before we help, uh, the under the staff also discuss with, with the family how the family will use the micro -related for uh, and how much the micro at the first time the family needs. So after that, Anjung staff will finish the document and then they uh, start to uh, support the family. The criteria to choose the families, that is the poor family. 
we don't, <coughs> we they cannot uh, choose the rich family to support. <coughs> That's in the poor family. Uh, the income is uh, is less than the average income of the poverty line from the government. And the next one <coughs> is the fam the family must have the labor, the main labor in the family. So when we give the um, money, so they can use to do. So we also give register for the family with children going to school or the family with the old, um, the, some family, they need special help, we also support them. Uh, so, Min, uh, uh, Min, uh, yes. why, why do the people do not go to the bank? So, you know, uh, if the poor family, they need money from the bank, so they must fill many documents, and the bank also has the very difficult illegal, it's very difficult to assess the bank for the money. Uh, the bank will choose the family very difficult. They must choose the may, maybe the rich, uh, not, not very poor people to give money. So that's why, but uh, some family, they cannot pay for the interest for the bank. It's too high for them. That's the second reason. So when Andyung uh, introduced to them the micro Reddit, so they were very happy to join. And they uh, very, very uh, pleased with our Reddit and they used the Reddit very well. Uh, I have a question. So the, yes. uh, this family, they are growing mushrooms, right? Yes. So uh, how- Not, not how on. Okay, but anyway, you, here you are showing a project where they grow mushrooms. Yes, uh, how, mushrooms. how can they make money out of the mushroom? Do they have to find the buyer for their mushroom? Or, uh, or do you help them? To, do you put them in touch with, you know, the, the people who can buy their products? Uh, normally, they will find themselves a uh, buyer. There are many uh, businessmen around the area. So it's very easy to connect to the buyer for collect the mushroom. They will do it themselves. Well, if they don't know who, so we also recommend them some name so they can contact later. Sometimes- Okay, and for them, example, this pro- Yes. Yeah, this, pro this project, is that organic mushrooms? And do you promote- uh, organic agriculture always on your project? Uh, which, which means like no fertilizers, no chemicals? Yes, uh, in Nguyen, uh, we also have some organic model to introduce to the farmer. Uh, for example, we recommend the net house model to grow, mus <coughs> to grow mushroom or grow uh, vegetable in the net house. <coughs> We also, Anjun Sap, a professional of Anjun Sap, always recommend the farmer use very, very less the fertilizer and uh, the chemical for their products. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, just one last question. You said earlier yes. that. You said earlier that uh, when you select the families for the microcredits, you will. Yes. Uh, Check on, you will select on. Sorry, uh, I can hear you. Yeah, earning, uh, earning money. Um, yes. I mean, the in, with the income below the uh, poverty line. What is the poverty line? How much uh, is the, the poverty line uh, from the government is the average income of farmer. They divide uh, through areas, urban areas and rural areas. In rural areas, the poverty line is uh, less than um, 50 euros per person per month. So many people in uh, rural areas are using support. Um, the income, the average income of people is less than half euros per person per day. It means half uh, 20 euros per person per month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, can you uh, expand the program if uh, you have more people who want to borrow from you or, or what? 
Yes, and if someone uh, from the community want to borrow money, so uh, onion staff will uh, ask the local government and uh, we combine with local orator to survey the family and then we also uh, get them and we ask them how they can how they will use the micro and uh, which my, which model they want to do if they need some support or technique and you and you also support them <clears throat> If, is it difficult uh, for you? Uh, is it difficult for you to find uh, people who want to borrow microcredit from the project? Uh, not at all, because in the rural area here, uh, many family they need the microcredit from us, but because of limited funds, so we just choose the poorest, the poorest one. We cannot support on family them. So much family need to, to uh, need to borrow my reference. So it's easy to find. Okay. Yeah. And how much is the budget this year for microcredit of Mekong Plus? So you you mean for a family or on project? Of for all for all for all your all uh, all the microcredits that you will give this year. Mm, why? À, năm nay là mình cái cái tiền mà hỗ trợ vốn khó khăn là khoảng nhiêu tiền ha? Uh, it's around uh, 200 million, no no no, 200,000 uh, euros. 200, yeah. 200,000 euros? Yeah. Yes. For annual only? Yes. Okay. How, mu yeah. how much uh, do you need to support uh, one household? What is your um, total expense to support one household with microcredit? Uh, for microcredit, uh, and you spend around 10, 75 euros per year to follow up to support uh, family. <clears throat> and uh, it depends on uh, if. We mentioned about the uh, the fund to support the microcredit. It depends on the the model and the, some case. They uh, the family need around uh, eighty euros to grow mushroom, to grow vegetable. So we support eighty euros. But some special case, for example, they want to raise uh, special fish, so they need around uh, one hundred and eighty euros. So uh, some special case, and you also support them with that uh, family. And uh, normally, <coughs> we spend about 70 euros per year for a family to follow up, to train in them, to support them technique and on cost to support the family. So after one year, uh, the income of the family is increased uh, double. Uh, it, they also earn around 220 euros for the benefit after one year. Yeah, thank you. Any question? Okay, thank you very much for visit with us, with me. And now uh, we come, come back to Chang again to visit Nest family. Any more question? If not, we can move. No, thank you, man, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, sweet to say. Thank you. We work in Cambodia and Vietnam in poor rural areas. In the cities, we have shops to sell our quills and other handicrafts. Development and environment are very much connected. The villagers spend a lot of time and money for firewood. The women cook in deplorable conditions. The animals are the big polluters. They produce methane gas, 21 times more dangerous than CO2. Biogas is a good solution to both problems. Pig manure follows the drain down to this long plastic tube. After two weeks fermentation, the methane gas moves to the reservoir. A simple bottle of water acts as safety valve. 
With two pigs, there is enough gas for a family. The kitchen is clean. There is no smell from the pig stall. We have installed over a thousand biogas already. Each one makes our planet save one tree every single month. Hello again, it's me, Sang, and I will take you to visit uh, Mr. Ong Tu family, uh, family in Ton Mayuga system. And uh, seven years ago, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ong Tu raised a lot of pigs and released a uh, many of fish to the river. And uh, uh, the neighbor, they complained a lot. So uh, then our village worker, they uh, come here and uh, acquire her acquire him to uh, to uh, to install the biogas system and introduce him some the benefits of uh, the biogas system. There are some benefits of biogas system as follows. Firstly, they uh, help to reduce the pollution from the manure pits. The traditional way people uh, raise pigs and release the manure pits to the river. And um, secondly, uh, to help uh, people, uh, villagers sell cost and uh, sell, uh, sell cost from buy, buying uh, firewood, charcoal, or industry gas. Uh, total, uh, they can uh, uh, sell about uh, 70 euro per year for industry gas. And uh, next year, uh, the, with the biogas, bio the it, it, it will uh, be uh, have, we will have no smell, no bad smell from the the pig tone. And um, not but not least, it is uh, after three or four years they can use the uh, organic uh, from the ma the the manure pit after three or, uh, or three or four years. And follow me to see the biogas system. The biogas system, including uh, two bags. The first bag we uh, contain the manure pig, pig. and uh, the second bag, uh, they will contain the methane gas. The first bag they got the two, uh, the first bag, uh, the, the 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 manure pig and the water will come the two go to the the first bike, and then uh, about 50, 15 days to 20 days, they will uh, review the methane gas. And uh, the methane gas will leave by, from this, this side, they go to the second bike. The second bike, and uh, this bike, they uh, contain the gas. And from the second bike, they have another pipe. Another pie they need to the kitchen. And from this pie, they, they go to the kitchen. And here we also have the safety one to uh, re reduce the register if the register is higher. Yeah. Follow me to see the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Any questions? Yes, it works with pigs only. Yeah, also uh, pig and cows. Okay. Yeah. Shang, is it not dangerous? Is it not dangerous to have this uh, gas tank in the house? No, it's not dangerous because it's a uh, low pressure, you know. Low pressure. Okay. Yeah. 
And how much do you say that it costs to install the two bags and all the, uh, the materials for uh, the biogas system? Uh, it's about, it costs about uh, 60 euro in total for the biogas system. Okay. And how long, that, uh, how long does it last? Do we need to change the bags after a few years? Uh, it it takes about uh, seven to ten years, uh, and you you can see this bauga is uh, about is uh, about seven years. Okay, seven years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shang, how many pigs do you need? Yeah, to, uh, uh, Yeah, how many pigs do you need to run a biogas? Yeah, at least we must, uh, the people, the uh, villager must uh, have four pick or one saw. Okay. Yeah. So, so can poor people, I mean, 60 euro is not a big investment, so poor people can also install the biogas? Yeah, no, we, we with the very poor, they cannot... Uh, They cannot uh, have a bio biogas because they don't have enough money to uh, to raise a poor pig, and they have a, also don't have a pig ton. Mm. And other questions. So, uh, how many uh, biogas systems did you install till now? Uh, Till now, Anh Dương uh, has support more than 1,200 bio biogas system in the Rochette area. Okay. Yeah. What about what about the rats? The rats they don't eat the plastic. Yeah. What about the rats? Short. Yeah. If uh, sometimes the rats they they, they also um. They they also uh, buy the black the plastic, but some uh, they they also pick not to end not to end the bike. Nó là con mèo, à, con chuột có cắn rồi giờ không? Không biết này người ta nó có cắn mà người ta nó dán rồi. Yeah, other questions. The, the people who install the biogas, they, uh, what support do they need from you? We also, we, uh, they, they, they install biogas. We also provide them the technical on how to install the biogas system. Besides, we also support them about 12 euro for encourage them to install biogas system. 12 euros on the 60, right? Yeah, yeah, tell, tell you all, uh, in the total, the, the total cost, they, uh, about 60, we, uh, we, uh, we support them, tell, tell you all. Okay. Yeah, yeah, other okay. questions? Thank you, thank you, Shang. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for everyone. I have a question. So, did... Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. You so I, I want to know. Uh, so the biogas, it's 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 it start. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. So I want to ask about this kind of project. So the, does it always start with a microcredit for the family? get pigs and then from the moment they decide to uh, use their microcredit to get pigs, then you will support them with the installation of the uh, biogas system? Yeah, because we support uh, with the microcredit, we support the, the, the family with the small investment, you know. They just, they only uh, can uh, raise one to two pigs. If they want, if they uh, have one saw, they can uh, install the biogas system. If they uh, also only uh, raise two pigs, two pigs, uh, we cannot uh, install the biogas system. 
some uh, some of our uh, our uh, poor family with the micro credit, if they uh, they raise one saw, they can uh, install the biogas system. Yeah. Not clear. Is it clear for you? No, not clear. Yeah. Not clear. I can see from the face of Benjamin, it's not clear. Yeah. Okay, Shang, what you need to say is that biogas, biogas is for middle income or rich farmers, pe people who have many pigs. And we don't yeah. help people uh, with microcredit. No, we don't help these people with microcredit. We only help the very poor. So biogas is only for farmers who have more pigs, different, different people. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. But we is don't. it free for the farmers, the biogas system, or do they have to pay for it? Yeah. Sorry, can you ask me again? Can you repeat, Benjamin? Yeah, is the system, okay, I, I am a farmer, I have 10 pigs. Yeah, I have a farmer. I am. Yeah. I have ten pigs. How does this work? Uh, yeah. Do you go? Do you go to meet the farmers when you know they have pigs, and you ask them, "Hey, do you want us to install uh, for free a biogas system for you, or do they have to pay uh, just for the equipment? How does this work?" Yeah, yeah, we have the training. Or sometimes uh, every month, uh, every month we have some training for the village workers about the uh, biogas system. Then we the worker, they will go to uh, the, the family around there. They will introduce the benefits of biogas system. If uh, uh, the villager, they have uh, interest on interesting in biogas system, we will uh, help them, train them again, how uh, to directly about uh, how to install the biogas system. Shang, the okay. question yeah, of Benjamin. They have to pay is for the installation. Shanghai? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sao hiểu là bạn nói là bạn có mượn theo nhiều. Is it free for them? Theo. Yeah, trend is free for them. Yeah, the trend free for them. No, the, the training is free, but the biogas is not free. The biogas, they have to pay 60 euro. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I want you to know. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, just one more question. Um, yeah. It, uh, if, uh, if the farmers have pig, isn't it better for them to, to sell the pig for meat? Then uh, to uh, keep four pigs and do the biogas system? I don't think it does. If they have. I guess, yeah, I if guess they, they, have, do, they do both, right? Because, no, because if they sell the meat, if, for example, we have only four. Yeah, but the, they, yeah. they will get uh, piglets, and then the piglets grow. Uh, cái này là anh nuôi heo để bán hay là nuôi heo con, nuôi heo thịt hay là nuôi con? They raise a pig permit. Yeah, so so the biogas system it works with uh, what then? If they if he raise a pig for meat with the piglet? Uh, nuôi, yeah. mình nuôi rồi mình có mua bắt đầu chuẩn bị bán là mình mua con heo con khác. They uh, they when they uh, repair to sell the big pig, they uh, they also buy the other uh, the other piglets. Okay, but then the piglets. To yeah. Yeah. So the piglets will uh, will uh, be used for uh, the biogas, right? Yeah. Um, nếu mà anh mua mua là mấy con là 10 con hay Sometimes uh, they buy the piglet 
sometimes uh, they they also help one saw to to raise the to to help the baby the the piglet. Để lại coi cho coi cái chuyện heo cái gì. Yeah, but I'm I'm asking if uh, is it uh, is it um, uh, is it more okay. economic? Is it Nếu mà yeah. Yeah, I understand your question. Then uh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Anh chị, nếu mà mình uh, mình có heo con, uh, nếu mà mình bán heo thịt rồi, mình có heo con không mà mình đủ ra để xài không anh? Yes, yeah, mà con phải năm sáu con trở lên thôi. Yeah. They, they said that about the poor piglet, uh, they can have enough gas. Uh, for, for piglets? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So but, then, uh, Shang, I, I think they raise pigs for the meat and they don't raise pigs for the gas. Huh? Gas is no, no really income, it's just a saving for the cooking, but uh, they don't raise pigs just for the gas. Okay. Um, are there questions? No, thank you. Good, thank, thank you. you. Thank you a lot for your visiting and then go uh, thank you. Chị chúc lại tiếp. The Mekong Delta offers beautiful landscapes, but for the villagers, the lack of roads and bridges is a serious problem. Most often there are only monkey bridges, too dangerous for the young children, they miss the school. Mekong Plus helps the villagers to build small bridges. One small bridge costs 1,000 euros, Mekong Plus contributes for 250, the rest is covered by the villagers. The roads must be elevated so that they are not submerged by the monsoon rains. At the same time, one dredges the small canals. This is very hard work. The peasant goes under the muddy water. Once the mud is well compressed, one adds a layer of broken stones, then the cement. Altogether, one meter costs five euros and Mekong Plus covers one fourth. <laughs> Where there is no bridge, the people cross by boat. The poor can hardly pay. Now the villagers have done their part, the government has promised a bridge here. This boat carries the paddy, the farmers now get a better price for it. The bridge makes also the motorcycle save 15 kilometers of detour. The grocer has probably lost a few customers. She was selling at a higher price than on the market. Now, the people compare with the village market and bargain.
Bắt micro lên chưa? Hello, can you hear me? Nhỏ hơn anh Yes. Can you hear me clear? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm standing on the monkey bridge. So you just watch the video about the monkey bridge. It's many difficulty for the local people when they cross the river. And also there are many dangerous for the children and the old people. And so you can see it's very difficult to uh, cross in the river with the monkey bridge like this. Oh, fortunately, I am a farmer. <coughs> I live in rural area, so I can go with, with oh, not, not too bad. <laughs> so you can see in the rural area, in the corner part like this, uh, there's many places, um, many, the river is everywhere. So uh, some remote areas, so the people, they must use the monkey bridge like this to cross the um, river because uh, they, are, they do not have enough the budget to build the concrete bridge for traveling. So it's very difficult for them. So that's why I'm doing a support. And you implement the project that is uh, to support the local people to build the concrete bridge or concrete rock for them. So uh, with each concrete bridge, and you support about one third, but maximum is about 600 rows for building the bridge. And the uh, remaining cost is uh, contributed by the local people and local government. If they also need more budgets, so they can uh, come for from the donors, other donors, other company. Uh, for the bridge, you can see over there, many places there, many houses over there. If they don't have the bridge here, they must go around, go many, very far, uh, far away here to uh, get another way to access to set here. So as our calculated, if we build a bridge or a kilometer abroad, so the local people will save uh, many, many, save a lot of money. Uh, for example, with a bridge, they can save about uh, 1,000 euros per year after we use uh, the gasoline, uh, harm for traveling. So for example, this rod, also the concrete rod, it look like the uh, rod for by support by an Yung. <coughs> when we uh, choosing a place to uh, build in rock or bridge, we also consider where um, how many people live around here and how many children, how many um, market or is, is it far away from the um, planet center or um, school? Or, so we chose the, the best, the place near that place first, and then we will choose another one. With local people, when uh, they suggest the idea to build the rock or bridge, so they, we will meet in together to discuss how much, how, how to build how much people can contribute and how much uh, local people, local government must come for. Here you can see there's a motorcycle can travel easily about on this road. Before, they must use the bus to travel in around here. So it's very difficult for local people to uh, carry the product from, park, from the field to the market. So, as you watch on the clip, the farmer cannot uh, choose the price. The businessman will apply, will uh, give the price, and the farmer must approve. They cannot choose. So now, if they have the rod like this, so the farmer can bring the product from the field to the market to the customer easily. So they can sell the products with higher price as well. They also uh, go to the market. So they can choose many uh, products from the market for their use. So they also buy with the better eye for something. Uh, if they leave house, 
the the boss also bring some products to the house, but the businessman will sell them uh, with higher price. So because they cannot choose, so they must approve for that. In the rural areas, it's very, uh, especially the children, um, some some place the children cannot go to school because of the difficulty of traveling. If the parents need to uh, send the children to school, they must use the bot to bring them from house to school, and the parents also stay there with them, waiting until the children finish the classroom and then they take the children back home. So it spent a lot of time for children, for parents. And uh, some big girl, some toddler children, they can use the um, conrit, the, the monkey wrist like this to go to school. But uh, that's, that's for the taller, very tall children. So with the smaller children, they cannot go to the monkey wrist like this. It's dangerous for them. So that's why this program is uh, welcome very much from the local people, and they uh, they suggest us many many uh, places to support the bridge or convert bridge. But now uh, we can <coughs> because of limited funds, so we must choose the best play for us. Until now, I'm doing support about two hundred and sixty convert bridge for local people and around 180 um, kilometers abroad for people. Yeah, thank you very much for watching the video now today. And uh, if you have any question, please let me know. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you, man. Um, why why um, you as an NGO, you need to make bridges and roads? Why is the government not doing this? Yes, it's a very um, talented question. Uh, because you know there there are many many rivers in the Gulf Delta, so the government cannot cover on bridge for people uh, because some 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 place um, there are not too much people live around. But in uh, uh, during the time, <coughs> the people will uh, to get <coughs> will gather together. So. Uh, that time, the need of convert grid is more. So uh, they, the local government also do not have enough funds to do on. So that's why they ask more support from from uh, local uh, go, local people, from donors, and. Um, uh, but uh, you said uh, the local people they will contribute uh, for a big part of the of the cost, right? What about very poor people? How can they contribute to make the bridge? Uh, to make the bridge uh, with the normal people, they can uh, beside the normal people they uh, contribute by money. Uh, but the poor they do not have money, but they have labor, so they can spend time to help the roof to build the bridge. They can use the lab their labor to uh, contribute. They also uh, work at labor, and they also uh, cooking some uh, cooking the meal for the the roof to build the bridge. Many ways to support. Do do the do the villagers uh, want you to make uh, many more bridges? I mean, is the need still uh, very big now? Of course, yes, uh, there's many, um, when we uh, visit the community, uh, many uh, local government, on, local authority also uh, ask us, uh, can and you support this bridge, can and you support that bridge, but uh, some case, this is very long bridge, so and you cannot support, and you on, only support the bridge uh, for the community, uh, it's less than uh, 20 meters of long. So the longer, so that for the government. Hmm. Yeah, also because of the limited funds, so we cannot choose more. We cannot support more. So if there yeah. are many, if there are many projects, how can you how do you select the one that you will 
you will build. Hold on, sorry. I don't want to send your mean. If there are many, you said that there are many needs for bridges. Uh, yes. How do you select the bridge that you will build? Yes, we have some uh, rarity. rarity. Uh, for example, we have two two places to build the bridge. Uh, with the first place, there are many uh, children live around, many poor houses live around, many uh, schools. There's some school there. Are, the the bridge is the way it's unique so the um, the needs of the bridge is very very essential so mm -hmm. we chose that like first if we have more fun we will choose we will support another okay yeah but it's it's uh Anyun who chooses uh you are not working with the government to choose the best location right not not right uh we also we always uh, combine with the local authority to choose some to uh, to choose the place to build a bit. We must agree together to do that because and you only support one third or maximum is six hundred euros for the bit. So we we not decide ourselves. We must uh, discuss together and all of us agreement. We have agreement with local people with local other donors to build up. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any question? What about uh, the maintenance? Uh, what uh, if uh, you need to repair the, the bridge? Who, who will pay for the repair? Uh, for a complete bridge, uh, we will, uh, the, the local people will maintain and uh, follow up the quality of the grid. And uh, local government, on, local authority also have the team to do that. Uh, if some place had damage, so local authority also uh, come there to fix. If the smaller damage, so local people live around there, they, if they have the um, fund, they also fix the damage. Thank you. Any more? It's clear for you. Yeah. Do they have to uh, repair the roads and bridges very often? Is it costly? Mm, yes. Uh, I well, uh, as I see, uh, some they they usually repair the road or bridge before the uh, rain, rainy season before the, after the flood season. So after that, uh, normally after that event, the limit, the road or the conduit with has some limit. That's a uh, special event. Uh, normally uh, when the local authority traveling, uh, if they see some limit, they also uh, ask the team to, re to repair. Okay. Yeah. What, okay. Once the, the bridges are built, the, the people who use the bridge, they have to pay or is it free, free passage? Uh, free, yeah. Many people, when they uh, lift the bridge, so local people can travel in free because they contribute by their labor, they contribute by their money. So do not any reason we do not have any reason to ask them to pay the fee for traveling the bridge. And local people also uh, control that. No one can take the fee, yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Any question? No more for me. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for visit uh, with An Young Tour. And uh, we hope that in the future, we can uh, organize many uh, trips like this to uh, take uh, you visit many places in uh, Mekong Delta and uh, get <coughs> and you will have the pleasure experience on our do. And uh, we hope that you can understand more about our job. Uh, if you can um, come back uh, with us in uh, really and welcome. Yeah. When I hope that uh, when epidemic uh, over, 
So many uh, visitors, many friends will come with us to explore more. Thank you very much for visiting with us. Thank you and see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. you. We so we hope we hope you uh, enjoy the virtual visit. Uh, we hope to see you uh, uh, here soon. We hope to thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Come. Bye bye. I'm the job. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Chị chúc tắt record đi chị chúc. <cười>